This lesson is going to be talking about uh, making fraction models. Um, it goes back to the curriculum where it says concretely, pictorially, and symbolically. So we're going to start out with models that are concrete. Um, our big idea is fractional parts have special names that tell how many parts of that size are needed to make a whole. Now more than likely in grade four, since it's an introductory year, or the second year actually, of fractions, you're going to have to go back and do some major reviewing. We're going to get very basic. We're going to start out with one half. Once they've got a good handle on that, we can get into more complex fractions like two-fifths, etc. So we're going to start out with models that are working with area. Your geo board is a really nice place to start because elastics can be changed very quickly rather than having students draw them. So we have rectangles of different sizes. We've got triangles. Often we get stuck in using the same picture over and over again. Um, many children think pizzas are the only things that you can make fractions out of. If I wanted to make a model of half, more than likely most of your responses will be like this. Since I have an odd number going down, the kids are going to say, well, how do I loop it in there? Now, can I make half this way? And can I make it this way? And likewise down here. We can make half going that way. And here again, we need a peg that's in the middle. So this one, it will work. Can I go corner to corner? Sure I can. Or to the other corner. Now, push them into triangles. Can I show half there? Well, I can if I take my elastic out of the loop. Are all triangles easy to be cut in half? And that's what you want to be doing is let your students guide the way here. Make any size a triangle. Take off these guys. Oops. Can I cut that one in half? Can I cut that one in thirds? Now, when they are able to tell you yes or no, then you know they've got an understanding of what's going on there. If we go to our fraction circles, and I'm looking for, say, three quarters, is that three quarters? Is this th three quarters? Remember, arrangement doesn't matter. If I have three parts that are all the same, and I originally cut my circle into four, I can have them spaced apart. I can have them whatever. Get your students to think outside the box here. And likewise, I could do it with any, any other ones. We've got your pattern blocks. These ones are aren't your average divisions. So if I say this is my garden or this is my field and I want to sow half to wheat, let's say, how can I show that? I can show it with the reds. I can show this as a half. I can put these in and say, well, half of the field is seeded. Maybe the black is wheat and the green is barley. Okay. I can use different things like that. So these are all area. Now we want to move the student from the geo board onto paper. So I could use dot paper. I can use a grid. These have 10 squares by 10 squares. So it's like a blank 100 chart. Okay, I could get them to color in portions. Now I want to move from my fraction circles onto paper as well so I can color in. What do three quarters look like? Could they have 
every second one colored in as long as they had three quarters of the hole. And then our pattern blocks. This is similar to the square dot paper, but these are on an angle, so you can actually draw your pattern block pieces on it. So the idea is to push your students from concrete to pictorial, and then you would like them to label it with numbers or words.